Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, May 26th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is, I bring understanding to my thought process. So today we have our final day of moon in Cancer. And the last two days have definitely been bringing um, a lot of emotional uh energies up to be processed and that's the thing I spent today doing the first of my eclipse readings and whoo we are in for some energies this summer it's not even just the eclipses like in the eclipse corridors there's so much shift there's so much going on and my feeling is is like get these emotions out now allow them to come up allow these energies to come up because that'll just lessen what you have to deal with upcoming um so today moon in cancer is definitely supporting that as it makes some challenging connections the first connection with the moon in cancer is with neptune and so dreams oh my goodness i have also been having really really intense dreams i think it's very related to what's going on and a lot of fears and the collective and probably some past life stuff as well <laughs> all th all thrown into the mix so moon connecting to neptune be aware what are these dreams trying to help you process and it may not be literal i know my dreams are not literal right now very figurative but like pay attention if you if there's something that you remember or something that's pulling on it do listen to that energy um the moon will go on to be opposite pluto and opposite jupiter so pluto and jupiter in capricorn who so that pluto opposition a lot of this transformation is making us very uncomfortable and that is okay it is okay to be uncomfortable <laughs> it's also okay to seek like okay where am i where am i falling into victim of this uh discomfort and where can i uh, call upon myself to step into my empowerment in and through these changing energies so just be aware of that but that opposition with pluto again it may bring up some of this discomfort that we do need to face so awareness of that the jupiter opposition you know jupiter uh expands anything it touches including this plutonic energy and so there may be kind of this holding my malachite while i do this <laughs> maybe kind of this balance of energy um you know jupiter like hey it's a friendly universe good things are happening and the cancer energy of like oh but this is hard and I don't want to do this and it's really hard and you know what that's the thing is like bring understanding to both of those parts of yourself find the understanding in both of those pieces because there is a beautiful transformation in process and yet there is that challenge that's happening the same things happening as mercury is in conjunct Jupiter today. So we have Mercury uh, moving through Gemini, actually very close to finishing up Gemini, approaching the North Node energy, which will have some significant strings for us to look into. But this is where that energy mantra is really coming from, really being understanding of your thought process. Now that in conjunct with Jupiter may amplify your thought process. Another one of the cards I have today is the be here now card totality but i always call this the be here now card be in the moment that is to say <laughs> be in the moment even with your thought process be um understanding with our thought process have you ever been like whoa where did that come from in your thoughts well the thing is is these thoughts they don't come from nowhere they do come from somewhere and a lot of times it does come from fears or woundings or even trapped trauma so to bring that understanding can help that jupiter energy which is helping us build new foundations new structures in our life and in the world at this time so Again, that awareness, the be here now, even with those thoughts, can lead to major breakthrough. So powerful energy, but again, it may feel a little uncomfortable. That Jupiter in Capricorn might be like, I should not be feeling this. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, and yet, 
don't get all shitty on yourself. That's not going to support, it's not going to support this transformation that is working us. Now the good news in all this, I think it's good news, um, is that the moon will be shifting late, 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 late in the evening into Leo. I have the playfulness card in reverse, but my hope is the playfulness card in reverse is like, hey, the moon in Leo is going to bring us a little bit of light, <laughs> a little bit of play, a little bit more joy, um, you know, as we work through these processes. The other card that I have that I did not show is I have the letting go card, and I really do feel like this is in regards to the emotional process. When it comes up, let it out, let it go, you know, that again will help um, with these incoming eclipses, which are like, whoo, <laughs> like they had, they had me reeling from like the energy feeling into it today. So we'll leave on that note, right? <laughs> so if you'd like to book a reading with me, email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You do have the power. Remember that even through the discomfort, you do have the power and stay curious. Namaste.